And we're continuing our 25th anniversary celebrations with another fun and exciting episode of SPT at 25. This week, we're breaking from tradition a little bit, and instead, I'm interviewing one of our own, Paul Grossinger, who is the group publisher of SPT. Paul, so great to have you on with me this week. Gr great to be here, Alana. Uh, looking forward to our chat and going down some uh, memory lane with uh, you and our SPT readers. Can you take me back to your humble beginnings with SPNTs? Because you started out first as the editor and then you worked your way up at, to Root Publisher, which you are today. And so why don't you just take me on that journey and you know what you really enjoyed about being the editor and what you enjoy now as a group publisher and maybe some fond memories that you have. Sure, I guess my background on SBNT is, is, a, is a traveled path. So I was associate editor uh, for uh, around six months. And then uh, Bob sold uh, our publication to uh, another company. I went to that company and became the editor after six months of being on the brand. Bob left, and then um, I was at SBNT as editor probably for six years. And uh, I think going back, I think um, I think what I really learned about the industry was that even though it's product focus and technology fo uh, focus, security and alarm is really about the people, right? It, it's how integrators and dealers. Uh, uh, talk to clients and serve their customers and deal with vendors and distribution. As you know, the, the ecosystem and security is a varied one with, with vendors and distributors and integrators and end users, right? And so, um, yeah, I started out as an editor and then uh, I eventually left at uh, SBMT to do my own thing. Um, uh, and after six or seven years of doing that, uh, and Annex came and uh, acquired my security pubs and sort of came full circle. And at that point I became publisher and my experience on my own really helped me learn the business of media. Um, and then um, now as group publisher of SBT and Canadian Security, it's really fun to work with a team like you, Neil and Jason and everyone else and uh, really push the brand forward. We're, we're about brand building now and how security and SBT and Canadian Security can really be part of the industries. And my focus now is helping you guys really build the brand and um, move us forward. 25 years is a huge milestone. And so I'm gonna force you to look into your crystal ball right now, Paul. And so when you think about 25 years into the future, what are your hopes for not just sp &T, but for the security industry in terms of accomplishments and milestones to hit? Yeah, I think looking forward, I think the most important part about security is staying true to itself, right? And it's all about um, and safety and protection of the people and the assets and the data that it is intended to protect. And I think if if the industry can really focus on um, its customers and, and consumers and, and how it uh, protects what's important to them, I think security and the alarm industry will, will be around for a long time. Everyone says we're recession proof in the security industry and to some degree that's true. Um, but I really think going forward, it's going to be the relationships that we build in, in sort of the security world that will keep us going. And, and, and my hope is that sb &T will be there in 25 years as well, right? Who, who knows what platforms we'll be using to communicate and what and mediums. But at the end of the day, I think, uh, I think sb &T will be here and uh, I look forward to another 25 years. Paul, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me this morning. And also on a personal note, thank you for letting me be part of the, the SPNT family. I really do enjoy working with you, Neil and Jason, and working with all of our partnerships to create content that's meaningful. And I'm really excited to see what happens with SPNT in the next 25 years. Well, great. You're an important part of our team, and uh, it should be a, a fun ride.